How's everything I'm going? Okay. It's me, Jezo, and Keem. Hello, everyone. How are you? Yes, yes. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing well, too. <sighs> Thank you. Right. Okay, so we got to have silence in the room now. Stage is set for Tab. So how's everything going, Tab? Um, it is going. It's going. It is going. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, where should we start? All right. Let everybody know who you are. Okay, my name is Tabitha, mm-hmm. and I live in North Carolina, or I'm from North Carolina, mm-hmm. and um, I share a child with Rayquan from Wu Tang Clan. Okay. Okay. What is currently? What, what is the situation between you and Rayquan right now at at this point? What's going down? Um, we actually don't have anything um, to say to each other. You know, he doesn't have anything to say to me. I don't have anything to say to him. Mm-hmm. Yet we are still trying to co-parent a child. Okay. So um, if you have children, you know, you can imagine how difficult that is when you can't talk to the other parent. Okay. So if you pick up the phone right now, well, you know, not now on the show, but if you were to pick up the phone right now, he would not talk to you at all? No. Okay. And your daughter is where right now at this moment? Uh, she's actually in Georgia. She's in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Um, is she in your custody or his? She's always been in my custody. So she's always been in your custody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, has Raekwon, um been supporting you? You 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 a child together, your daughter. Um, that is a yes or no question. So I am going to say yes in some areas. Yes. Okay. So just just take us a little back. When did you first meet Raekwon? The the just people who tune in um, at FullerEmpireRadio.com. This is the Jezzo Show. We have uh, Raekwon from the Wu Tang Clan, daughter's mother Tabitha on the on the line. Tell us when did you first meet him? How how did that whole transition go? When? Okay, we actually met in nineteen ninety four mm-hmm. um, here in North Carolina. Okay, and um, continued a relationship for a short period of time before mm-hmm. my daughter came into play. Okay. So, like, what, like, was I in love? Was it blissful? When you know, hell to the no, 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 no <laughs> love there. It really? was a short-lived relationship. Um, you know, we were working towards something, but no. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what was there any infidelity going on? The, you know, in the relationship. Um. That you know of, that you know of. Well, I'll put it like this. Um, we were seeing each other for a period of time, mm-hmm. and when I, you know, made him aware of the fact that I was pregnant, mm-hmm. that's when he made me aware of the fact that there was another person in his life. Oh, wow. So, um, at that point, that's when the relationship ended. Okay. Who ended the relationship, you or him? Oh, I did. You did. Okay. Okay, and and what, what was his feelings towards you ending the relationship and walk and walking away? His feelings yeah. or mine? His like how 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 did he react? Like what did he, what did he say? Well, you know, was he like baby baby? No, don't go, don't go, don't go. Or was he like if you be go ahead? You know. Actually, he was looking for answers from me on what he was going to tell this young lady about me being pregnant. Oh, um, wow. Unfortunately, me being the one pregnant and not being aware of her, mm. I didn't have any answers for him. Okay. Okay. Wow. At any point, did, did did you ever get to speak to the young lady or see the young lady or have any contact with the young lady? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, Tabitha? Hello? 
Hello? Tabitha? Hello? Are you still there? I'm here. Hello? Can you hear okay. me? Okay. I, I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, what I was saying is, at any point, the young lady in question that he was with, that he revealed, you know, that he was with, at the time that, you know, you was together with Raekwon, did you and her have any conversation or any dealings, you know? Oh, wow. Um, I, I wasn't aware of who she was. Okay. Um, until... I was about five months pregnant. That's when he told me that somebody else existed. Okay. Um, because his exact words were, well, what am I supposed to tell my girl? Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of puzzled because I'm like, I'm not her. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, you're not her. And I said, oh, okay. So I'm taking genius to figure out what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, as far as she and I, the situation was complicated when I did finally meet her because um, this young lady had been with him for many, many years. Oh, wow. And that's not something that he had expressed to me or ever told me. Okay. That's something I had to find out through his family. Oh, wow. Okay. And also, you know, I was very young, and she was not, mm -hmm. and she was unable to have children. Wow. So I, I kind of felt caught in between right. a rock and a hard place. You know, this is another woman, another black woman, right. to be exact, um, who is has been with this man for X amount of years, and then she can't conceive, and here comes this child or this girl from out of nowhere, and she's getting ready to have his first child. I know how I would have felt. Right. But I felt kind of bad for her, of course. Um, you know, things transpired, words were said and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and my sympathy kind of ran out. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to run up on a pregnant woman, you got a problem. Right, right, right. You know. Right. So, okay. Once you broke up with him... All of this was going on, you know, with the woman in question or whatever. Did he send any money? Like, did, did he keep in contact with you? Did he send any money? Like, No. Um, because I was not willing to comply with what his plan was, mm -hmm. um, which was to stash me off somewhere here in the United States. Mm -hmm. He'd come and see me and my child whenever he got an opportunity to and whenever he could figure out how to tell this young lady. Um I, I wasn't willing to comply with that. Okay. So because of that, there was no contact with he and I uh, for eight years. Wow. Um, until we, we went to court. And, I mean, each time I was, every year I took him to court because mm -hmm. the way interstate cases work in the state of North Carolina mm -hmm. is that you have to file. Mm -hmm. And they look for the person for an entire year. And if they are unsuccessful in finding that person, mm -hmm. um, you have to go and refile. So it took me eight years of refiling each year and to did, track him down. And each time that you went to each time that you had a court appointment, you went to court. Did he show up? No, they have to. The, the way it works is mm -hmm. this state will contact the state that he lives in. Oh, okay, New York. Um, right. With him being an entertainer, mm -hmm. um, it, it's hard to track someone down because you don't know when they're going to be in town, what their tour dates are going to be, and it costs the state money to send a private processor out. Mm -hmm. So each time they attempted to contact him, they were unsuccessful. Um, but that does not excuse the fact that you knew this child was out here because I made contact in other ways. Right, right. So um, at the eighth year, you know, we finally got him in court, mm -hmm. and, um, and that's when the communication between he and I, Started again. Started again. W w what was it a good a good start? D did he come to you um, and, and say, "Hey, I'm I'm sorry," blah 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 blah. It, it was somewhat, you know. Mm -hmm. After eight years have gone by, um, people have moved on with their lives and done different things. Mm -hmm. I won't sit here and tell you that I was not angry, right? And that I not I, I didn't want to bash his head in. Right. Because you haven't been around for this kid. Right. Um, and now all of a sudden you want to see this child. Right. Yeah. Um, so I can't tell you that I wasn't angry, mm -hmm. but um, I did try very hard. I, I've been trying for the last nine years right. very hard to co-parent with someone who clearly is not a parent. Right, right. And, and, and at this time, how old was your daughter? She was eight. She was eight. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So... He didn't. He didn't get to spend time with her for for 
that long period of time, right? Correct. So he he no no um, vacations to his house and or to his family house or whatever. None of that. Repeat that. I'm sorry. I said no 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 um, vacations to his house or his family's house. No communication from no. his family and none of that for that length of, of time. No, no. Um, well, no, no, let's see. Mm-hmm. I, I was visited by someone in his family okay. um, who I guess he must have sent him there or mm-hmm. asked, asked him to track me down Okay. Um, and take a look at my child. He did show up at my door. Okay. And he told me who he was and he wanted to see her. And it was kind of like an inspection. Okay. And I felt really violated. Right. But at the same time, you know, here she is. <laughs> you right, can see right. her, but what what is this going to do? This isn't going to resolve what's going on right now. Right. And I think she was about three, maybe four years old at that time. Okay. So at at at, at any point, did he ever deny being the father? At any point? Um, off and on, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, once the DNA test came into play, mm-hmm. then. He couldn't say I don't know anymore, so he had to say something else. Right, because I don't know about North Carolina, the state of North Carolina, but I know here in New York, once once um, a mother files for child support, that's like an automatic DNA testing. Is that is it like that out there too? Um, if the father's name is not on the birth certificate, yes. Right, and is his name on there? No. No. <laughs> no. Wow. Was he was he there for the birth? No, he was not. Wow. 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 W- was he on tour or something like that or he just wasn't he just refused to be there? Um he refused to be there. Uh again, like I said when I refused to comply with what he wanted me to do. Mm-hmm. Um all contact, everything was pretty much cut. Um, mm-hmm. I was notified by his girlfriend at that time that if I wanted him to have anything to do with her, I needed to take him to court. Mm. So. Wow. Okay, so what type of living arrangement, you know, um, you had there? Like, did, did, did you have a job? Did you have a steady income? going on or did you struggle i was 18 and in my last year of high school okay and so when the girlfriend decided to call my mother and tell her that i was sleeping with a married man um and he was not actually married but she called and was very angry Mm -hmm. my mother put me out and i've been on my own ever since wow wow so so you you basically um can I say that that you basically lived from pillar to post? Um, I actually went ahead to finish school. Okay. And I stayed in the shelter until Mm-mm-mm. maybe a month before I had my daughter. Um, and I stayed with friends, you okay. know, here and there until I was able to get my first apartment. And once I got my first apartment, you know, it's a small two bedroom apartment big enough for me and my baby. No. W- was he aware of, of you living in the shelter? I'm not sure if he was or was not. I, I really don't know. I don't know what information was relayed to him um, through his family at that particular time because we didn't have contact. Okay. I had to contact him through his family. Through his family. And n- none of them never say try to send money or or... Send send for your daughter to come down there and stay while you get yourself together. Um, at that particular time, yeah. No, no, because at that time they all lived in New York. Okay. Okay. Wow. And now, how old is your daughter now? She is seventeen. She's seventeen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have a close relationship with your daughter now? Um, that relationship has been through the ringer the last couple of months. Okay. Um, based off of everything that's happened in the last couple of months. Right. So, um, 
I, I can say it's not completely falling apart, mm-hmm. but um, it's it's been taken through the ringer. I mean, that's the only thing in my life that's been constant for the last 17 years. And so mm-hmm. that's been ripped for me as well as my home, my car. Right. You know, a lot of things. Right. How 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 did you explain to her, you know, the whereabouts of her father as 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 she was growing up? Like, what was that conversation like? like um, I had to lie. Okay. So that she would not think bad about him. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to tell her, you know, that he worked a lot and he was going to come and see. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello, Tabitha. Hello? Hello? Hello, Tab? If I'm here, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, each year I had to, you know, tell her that he was working. Mm-hmm. And he just didn't have the time or couldn't get off to come and see her. Okay. She always knew who he was. Okay. And, um, and, and, but and I just never went into detail about, you know, his job or Okay. Any of that, um, because I didn't want her to have a bad image of him in her head. Right. So, so when she, so so she had like growing up, she didn't see him on TV and never questioned it or or hear hear his music and questioned it or nothing like that. Yeah, she did. Um, she did ask lots of questions about him, um, in which I again had to lie to her um, and explain that you know, where he was was far from where we were and uh, eventually he was going to come and see us. Okay. So, um, as she got older, did, did she start, like, like did, did, did she ever want to reach out to him herself? Um, actually, once we went to court, mm-hmm. you know, he asked to be a part of her life. Okay. And um, I agreed. And I called her because uh, I did not take her with me to New York. I wasn't really sure who or what I was going to be dealing with at that time. And I did not want her to see him and recognize who he was. Mm-hmm. And he rejected her. So right. I left her here in North Carolina when I went to court. Okay. And and how was that first that first um, initial interaction? Um, she was excited. She was excited because in her mind, you know, I finally got a dad. Okay. So, and I was excited and happy for her, her, able to, you know, oblige her with that. Okay. And how did y'all get along at that point? We didn't. Y'all didn't? We, we didn't agree um, on anything, as still now we don't agree on mm-hmm. anything, because at this point, you know, I've been a mother for 17 years. Right. Um. He's only been a, a dad for a few years. He got to choose when he became a parent. Parent, okay. So with that being said, mm-hmm. my life completely changed when I became a parent. And so I don't think like the 18-year-old kid that he met. I think like a mother. Mother, right. So right. we don't agree on anything when it comes to her. Her, okay. Okay. So so do she speak to him now? Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. A- and And... How much um, back child support do he owe? F E O. Um, I'm not really sure as far as the amount. Mm-hmm. Um, because I don't even want it at this point. I don't. I don't want your money because if you're holding on to it that much, mm-hmm. and you can go eat five hundred dollar meals, and you can support your other two children yeah. in a major way that you've never supported mine, you can keep that money. Yeah, because I don't want that. Yeah, because um, somebody. Recently, somebody within like this week, somebody um, told me that he tweeted something about him um, at a at a, a dinner or event or something like that, and his plate was like three to five hundred dollars, something like that. Recently, that's what I was told. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was told the same thing. He tweeted it and stuff like that. When when you see stuff like that, how, how does that make you feel? Um. Like, like, are, like, do, do you get enraged when you see stuff like that? Actually, I, I don't, um, because you know he is an artist. Um, he works for this money that he earns, mm-hmm. 
So, you know, if he wants to go out and spend that kind of money on food or shoes or whatever it is that he wants to spend money on, mm-hmm. that's fine. Uh, I don't get on stage and perform, so that's not my money. Um, is it a little twisted? Yeah, it is. Um, a little. My concern is that my daughter and his other children don't get the same treatment. That that's my concern. Okay. Okay. So you so like you you know for sure he spent time with his other children and. Um, you know he he's been in his kids' lives, the other children. For as long as they've been on this earth, but okay. you have not been in my daughter's life that long. Okay. And because of your feelings for me or your relationship with me, she doesn't get to have the same thing as the other two children do, right. which is completely not fair. Right. And she doesn't see it that way because all she sees is, I've got him here now. I don't want him to go away. Right, right. Now, out, out of all his kids, is your daughter the oldest? Yes, she is. She is. Wow. Have your daughter met her other brothers and sisters? Yes. I I, I don't keep that from happening. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if he has 25 of them, that's him. I, we both have them seeing each other. No. No, right. never that. Right. Right. Wow. So, what is your living arrangements now? How is that? What's that about? Um, Right now, I'm mm-hmm. actually from place to place. I was in Georgia okay. um, on last month, and I moved down there because my daughter wanted to have both sides of her family. She wanted me, and she wanted him there. Okay. And so um, it was an abrupt move. It wasn't the best planned move, and things just did not go well. Okay. You know, I had a difficult time trying to find a place. Um, I went to stay with a friend. That turned out to be a nightmare and a trap. Oh, God. Wow. Um and I had I left from there, and my son and I, because I have another child. I have a son yeah, I was going to ask 11. you that. Okay. Yeah, and he and I were sleeping in the car <sighs> because I had run out of money, and okay. I wasn't going back to stay with my friend. Her boyfriend tried to rape me, uh, so that wasn't going to happen. Um, we were sleeping in the car, and they repoed my truck while we were in it. Uh, so. Uh, we are currently in North Carolina, and I'm just here, there, wherever I can lay my head and feed my son right now, and so I can figure some things out because I don't have a support system um, so, that is going to open the door and say, "Hey, you and your kid can come and stay here." So, so ba- basically, you and your son is homeless. Yes. And your daughter is where? She's not. Homeless. She's in Georgia. She's in Georgia. I sent her there. She goes every summer, and I sent her there to go ahead and start school. The plan was Mm -hmm. that school starts sooner in Georgia Mm -hmm. than what it does in North Carolina, Mm -hmm. that she could go ahead and go to her aunt and uncle's house and start school. And and, and that's his family? Yes. Okay. So I I sent him, I sent her to his brother mm -hmm. and his brother's wife because they're the only ones that I can, you know, speak to (laughs) and and that I can deal with as far as trusting them with my child and trusting what I say and doing, you know, complying with me. Okay. And and no no one in his family never like sat you down and try and try to and and try to um hash things out between you and him. Um his brother I have to say has been the mediator all the time. Mhm. Consistently the mediator between he and I. Um mm-hmm. because we can't you know talking to him is is like talking to another child. Okay. Um, it's very hard to get him to see where I'm coming from mm-hmm. um, on anything because mm-hmm. he's not really a parent. He's not raising children, so he doesn't think like a parent. Okay. His brother, on the other hand, who does have children of his own, mm-hmm. he's more of a parent and he understands, you know, where I'm coming from. Right. Okay. So, to your knowledge, the woman that he's with now, is it is this the same woman that he was with when you revealed it, that you was pregnant with your daughter? No, this is a different girl. This is a different girl. And um, how was your relationship? Or, or you know, do, you, do you ever speak or have you ever spoke? Um, I, I had always gotten along with her up until this year. Wow. Um, 
this year, for some reason, I think whenever my daughter turned 17, mm-hmm. you know, they felt as though, I'm sorry, they felt as mm-hmm. though, um, you know, she was an adult and she is not an adult. Mm-hmm. So her decision, you know, came above adult decisions, which I was not in agreement with. Okay. And then I started hearing things, you know, come out of my daughter's mouth that were coming from someone else. Okay. So I, I, I didn't appreciate that. Um, I don't have a problem with him ever moving on or who he's with. Mm-hmm. She actually was a very nice girl. Right. But when it comes to my daughter, mm-hmm. be very careful how you open your mouth oh, and okay. what you say. Okay. Because that's not your child. Right. So stay in your place. And since he wouldn't check her and put her in one, I had to let him know how I felt about that. And he wasn't in agreement with that. Okay. Okay. So, do, do she currently have a close relationship with him now? That now that she's with his family, um, actually, you know, there, there's been so much chaos in the last couple of months between him and I, him and my daughter. My daughter just went from loving both of her parents to being turned against one of her parents. Oh, and I never did that. I never did that to him. I never did that to her. Mm-hmm. So, I'm extremely angry about my child being turned against me. Right. At the same time, I'm trying to stick myself in a 17-year-old's body right. who's trapped between her parents because right. she loves both of her parents. Parents, right. Right. Do, do you think that one day you and him can come to an amicable agreement and, and, and co-parent together? And, you know, um, in a, you know, when a he becomes way? a parent... When he becomes of his age and not just on record. Okay. Okay. So far as like school, college, and stuff like that, is he fitting the bill for that now? Um, she's she's still in high school. Okay, she's still in high school. So, yeah. So as far as college, I'm sure that um, from a financial aspect, he would probably fork that over. Mm-hmm. Um, that was part of the original agreement. Okay. But I, I don't know. It's not something that I can say definitively that he's going to do. Okay. Uh, college applications and visiting schools, I can already tell you that's a no. Okay. 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 So if he was standing before you right now, what would you say to him if he was standing before you right now? I don't have any words. I don't have any words because my concern is not with him. My mm-hmm. concern is with my daughter. Okay. That's who I have done everything for in the past. That's mm-hmm. who I will continue to do everything for. Um, you know, if he wanted to sit down and talk, mm-hmm. I, I just honestly at this point, I can't say if I would want to talk because okay. I've tried so many times and I'm tired of trying and I'm tired of being ambushed and jumped upon because I can't provide things for my daughter like you can. Right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not a rapper. Right, right. I don't make tons of money. You know, I right. don't spend that kind of money. I have been a single parent all my life. Right. Has, has, so. Oh, go ahead. Fi- fi- go ahead. No finish. Um, I, we just, I, I wouldn't really have anything to say. I, I would try my hardest, mm-hmm. but I just don't think that there would be any way to talk about anything. Okay. H- has, has any of his, his rap, Brothers, you know, Meth or 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 Riza or Giza, anybody ever contact you and try to work no. things out between you and him or any, that? No. Um, as far as that goes, you know, I don't have a relationship with them. I have stayed out of the limelight. Mm-hmm. I don't really want um, to have a relationship with any of them of that sort mm-hmm. um, because they have nothing to do with my daughter. Okay. What I do want is for him to learn how to be a parent. And that's going to be nearly impossible since you're consistently on the road and I understand that you have to do what you have to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but take the advice from somebody who has been doing the parent thing the whole right. time. Right. And don't think that because you say yes or no, mm-hmm. you know, that what, you, what you're what you saying is correct when you don't know how to be a parent yourself. Okay. Right. You're absolutely right. So, okay, so far as um, employment and stuff like that, where you at right now, far as that is concerned? 
I, I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. I said, as far as empl- employment right now, where are you at right now as far as that? 